everyone so back with another video so today's video is going to be a little bit different some of you guys actually know about this procedure that i'm going to be having in a few hours actually um i mentioned it on my vlog channel if you're not following me there you should definitely follow me on my vlog channel um, the link is in the description box so anyways i am getting my teeth done um it's not something that i woke up and said oh let me go get my teeth done it's actually something that's been bothering me for about i want to say a good six years or so i've wanted to you know do something with my teeth about six years ago but four years ago i actually wanted to get veneers but back then i could not afford it um so i'm going to give you guys a little bit of background on why i want to get my teeth done and then I'll talk about the procedure and all that good stuff. So if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen these photos before. I probably never paid close attention to them. So here are some photos that I have on Instagram. I never really smile with teeth um, because I hate my teeth. My two front teeth are very long and also they have a discoloration on it. And also I have a lot of spacing in between my teeth. So now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on all of these photos so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So if you guys look closely, you can see how much longer my front teeth are compared to the rest. And there's always that little space that shows. Now if I show all of my teeth, you'll see I have a bunch of spaces between all of my teeth. Most of you guys probably think my teeth are perfect, um, especially with this big nice light that I have in front of me. Um, it shines in nice white light, so my teeth probably look super white. My teeth probably look nice and even, nice and square, but in person my teeth aren't white. They're more of like a creamy color. Um, they're straight because I did have braces back when I was in grade 9, 10. You guys can't see that I have a few spaces going on. Um, you can't see that my teeth, my two front teeth are, I guess you can say discolored or two-toned. And the reason why it's two-toned is because of fluoride, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, you guys can't see that my teeth are, I guess you could say, kind of roundish. They're not really square. So this is a lot going on that you guys really can't see because I'm pretty far from the camera. I have a really nice light. And also, when I speak, um, my teeth don't show a whole lot. You guys can't see it. And usually, people looking from the outside, looking in, don't see your flaws or don't see the things that you don't like or whatever. So a lot of you guys wouldn't understand or, or be able to relate, but um, I just want to put it out there that I'm, I am getting my teeth done and I know a few of you guys are actually thinking about doing it as well. So I want to kind of share my experience and document it. Like I was saying, I've wanted to get my teeth done for about a good six years. I first mentioned it to my old dentist. I asked them if I could bleach my teeth because again, they were two-toned, they are discolored um, and I really just wanted white teeth um, he told me because my teeth weren't stained um, I could not bleach I mean I could bleach my teeth if I wanted to but it wasn't going to change the color of my teeth um, he was saying that my enamel is two-toned or discolored it's not from stains or anything like that it's from fluoride being exposed to too much fluoride at a young age so that is why my teeth are discolored or two-toned. Um, it's not all of my teeth, it's just the two front one, the two, I guess you could say the buck teeth, those two. Th those are the two that have a slight discoloration. Yeah, I've always hated it because those are two teeth that people see when they talk to you or when you open up your mouth, when you smile or whatever. And it's always, 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 always bothered me. So that was six years ago. Um, he suggested that I could do crowning, which is very similar to veneers. Um, it's pretty much just putting a cap over all of your teeth or like a fake tooth all over your teeth. That's pretty much what he had suggested at the time. But at that time, he was telling me it would be like a thousand per cap or whatever. And at that time, I definitely did not have the money to do it. So... I was left with the same teeth. Um, so flash forward a little bit to four years ago, I came across a video by Raven Elise. You guys probably know her. She got her veneers done or her teeth done and that was the first time I found out about veneers. I had no idea what veneers were. My dentist even mentioned them. So after seeing her video, I knew right away that's exactly what I want to do and I was going to save up for it and here we are. I've saved up. I'm going to get my teeth done. Not only do I dislike the color of my teeth? I don't like the size of my teeth. I don't like the shape of my teeth. I don't like the spacing. 
that I have um, on the sides. I don't like the length of the two front teeth. They're much longer, much bigger than the rest of my teeth. Um, so just a whole lot. I honestly just do not like the way my teeth look, the way, the way they're shaped, nothing like that. Some of you guys are probably wondering, well, you can get braces to close up, you know, the spaces. I had braces. There's still spaces. Braces won't help the color, won't help the size, won't help the length. So um, that's pointless. And then bleaching, I can't bleach because this is how my teeth are inside out. Um, you can bleach if you have stains from like coffee, you know, drinking wine, smoking, you know, you can bleach that away. So let me quickly explain what veneers are. Veneers are... It's kind of hard to explain, but it's like a piece of porcelain that's going to be placed over my teeth and it's going to be glued down and it's going to be permanent. It's something that I personally won't be able to remove. Um, it can be chipped. It cannot be stained because it's porcelain. So you want to make sure that when you do pick the color of the teeth that you want, that you're going to be happy with it for the rest of well not the rest of your life but for a good period of time so think of the veneer as like a fake nail putting a fake nail on gluing it down a few ways that you can do it um the two main ones is the no prep and then there's prep the no prep veneers is basically placing the veneer on top of your teeth gluing them down and that's pretty much it prep veneers means that you're going to prepare your teeth to receive the veneer so basically they will drill down or file down your teeth, your real teeth, so that way the veneer can um, be, I guess you can say, be more flat, be more realistic, and also can last a lot longer than, you know, the no prep where they just place it on place it onto your teeth without prepping the teeth at all. With no prep veneers, um, they tend to look... I guess you can say more on the fake side, they look like chiclets, if you guys know that gum. Um, they kind of look bulky, um, they can kind of make your lips poke out because they didn't file down your real teeth, they're adding another set of teeth on top of your teeth. Yeah, it makes your mouth look a little bit puffy or whatever. Um, when you have prep veneers, again, they remove some of your teeth so that way when they put on the veneer, um, Everything just fits nicely and it looks more realistic because your lips are not, you know, pushed up because of the extra teeth. Everything just fits nicely and looks more realistic. Um, let's just put it that way. But for me, I will be doing the prep veneer just because my dentist recommend doing prep versus no prep. He was saying with the no prep, um, it's very easy for plaque and buildup to get under the veneer and onto your um, real teeth. and. You wouldn't know that there's food under there or plaque or whatever under there and that can cause cavities and gingivitis and all that all that stuff so he was saying the best thing to do is um, prep where they you know drill down the teeth a bit then bond the veneers to my teeth so some of you guys are probably wondering about the prices um, Veneers are not cheap. You want to make sure that it's something that you really, really, really want. Um, 100%, not even 100%, 120% you want veneers. You want to make sure you do your research before going out and just picking any random dentist. Um, so as for pricing, it goes, depending on where you are in the world, um, it goes about from $600 to $1,200. Um, that's in US dollars so anywhere from 600 to 1200 per tooth not for you know all your teeth but per tooth so it's not cheap um, it's actually very very expensive this is why I've waited so long to do it I definitely didn't want to you know start a process and not be able to afford it so how many veneers will I be getting I will be getting 12 in total I'll be getting six on the top and six on the bottom I'm going with six personally because when I smile those are the 12 teeth that you there's people out there who get just one tooth because maybe a tooth just chipped or maybe one tooth is discolored or whatever um, people will sometimes get one just one tooth um, there's people who get their entire mouth done yeah it all depends on what you want but for me personally um, I don't like my teeth at all and I want to make sure that when I smile or whatever my smile is kind of fake right now, but when I smile, I want to make sure that the teeth that are showing are 
really pretty. I want the perfect smile when I smile, so that's why I'm doing 12. It's different everywhere you go from 600 to 1200 dollars. A few quick tips is to do your research. Make sure you watch videos on how it's done. Um, prepare yourself, like mentally prepare yourself for what's gonna happen because it does involve drilling, it does involve a lot of needles. So you have to be prepared for all of that. I've seen a hundred different veneer videos. So I'm pretty, you know, ready to get this done. Um, so my appointment is actually tomorrow at 12 p.m. By the time you guys see this video, I will already have my temporaries, maybe even my permanent veneers. So speaking of temporaries, I'm not going to go into too much detail just because I personally have never gotten veneers before. But from what I've seen in videos for prep veneers, they drill some of my teeth down. They take a mold of your teeth. Um, then they start making your temporaries and your temporaries won't be you know individual teeth it's going to be one slab or like it's kind of I guess you can see like dentures it's going to be one row of teeth that they're going to glue on and you're going to wear that for I think about a week or so or two weeks within those two weeks you're going to you know check yourself out in the mirror see what you don't like about teeth, what you like, what you want to change, you know, stuff like that. And it kind of just gets you prepared for what's coming next. Real veneers. Um, speaking about years, how long do veneers last? They last anywhere from, people say about 15 to 20 years. That's how long they should last you. But again, it depends on how well you take care of your teeth and who did them for you. Because if they're not done properly, they will chip, they will fall out. Um, if they're done properly, they should last you a good 20 years. For what to expect for your consultation, I did mine about two weeks ago. Um, I went in, I sat down with my dentist, and he pretty much just asked, you know, why do you want veneers? What's wrong with your teeth? Um, I told him everything I told you guys. I don't like the color, the shape, the length, the spacing, um, and yeah. And he was saying, okay, I see what you're, t I see what you're saying. Um, you had braces. They didn't close up the gaps. The discoloration is something you cannot bleach. Um, veneers is actually a really good choice, you know, stuff like that he was saying. And um, I saw his work and whatever and I was very happy. So that's pretty much what they do. They kind of just give you a quick run through of what veneers are, which ones you should go for, whether you should, whether you should go for prep or no prep. Just listening to what he was saying, prep sounds like the best way to go. The no prep, I didn't like the idea of food getting under my veneers and onto my real teeth and me not knowing. That could lead to like serious problems, so I don't want to have to deal with that. So that's just extra money and you know health problems later on. Anyways, that consultation was probably about like 20 minutes or so. I actually had to pay 25% of the total payment that day. So just be prepared for that, that you will have to cough up some money on the first day. I don't know how it is everywhere, but for me, I had to pay, I think, about 25% of my entire total that day, which I had no idea I had to do that. Online I read that there's payment plans and there's this and there's that. Um, there's no payment plans for my veneers. I paid a small portion on consultation day and I'm going to pay the rest of the portion tomorrow. So I just I'm just doing two payments and that's it. I don't know how it is in other places. Um, I know I've read online that you can do payment plans and blah blah. I asked my dentist, you know, can I, is there a payment plan? Because that's what I was reading online. And he said, no, there's no payment plans with veneers. And I was like, yikes. Because I had to, you know, cough up a good chunk of money, you know, that day. And I had no idea I had to do that. So a heads up that you may have to pay a large amount of money on the day of your consultation. Also, I went to point out um, insurance for the most part does not cover cosmetic dentistry they may cover maybe a thousand dollars maybe two thousand dollars if you're lucky but a lot of insurances won't cover cosmetic um, procedures so yeah don't be surprised if you know your insurance doesn't cover your veneers definitely don't go into this whole thing blind um, do your research talk to your insurance uh, make sure you know what's going on because you don't want to go to your dentist you know ready to get these veneers and then you end up looking stupid because you didn't do any research so definitely do your research and that's pretty much it um 
pretty much covered everything. I covered everything on my list. I know a lot of you guys will still probably have some questions. Um, I probably will do a Q&A um, after I get my final veneers. By then I'll be able to give you guys uh, more info on the whole process. I will vlog before I go and I will vlog when I get out. So yeah, that will be happening tomorrow, October 5th at 12 p.m. <sighs> it's a really big day for me, something I've wanted for a very long time. So um, yeah, I'm excited, nervous. Um, also, if any of you guys have gotten veneers, let me know down below. Or maybe you guys are thinking about it, let me down below as well. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be covering my second appointment. And I will be showing you guys my temporaries. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video.